So is there anything going on in your life right now that you just want to throw in the towel about? I know that's not good grammar, but whatever. <laughs> Something that is challenging a positive mindset, uh, challenging you to keep your head in a, what's the word I'm looking for? In a wise space. We all go through these challenges and difficulties and they can make us bitter or they can make us better. You can, your attitude toward it and how you address it is your choice. It can make you bitter or it can make you better. What will you choose? Let's go into day 22 of 25 days of Reframe It. My name is Erica R. Meyer of ReframeItStoryMeditation.com. I help women entrepreneurs reduce stress, worry, and anxiety through positive storytelling. If you're not familiar with that service, go to the website. There are two free preview meditations that are there for you to try. Unconventional, non-traditional. Day 22 of 25 days of Reframe It. Your favorite seat is taken. We all have that, right? Whether it's a coffee shop or a church or airplane or library or whatever, we all have these places that we frequent where we have our favorite spot. It gives us a little comfort. Uh, it's familiar, but sometimes they're occupied by somebody else and it can get under your skin, right? Um, I'm that way with my favorite seats. My husband and I typically fly a lot of Southwest and my favorite seats on that flight are the two that are by themselves that are in the emergency exit row because it kind of feels like, because they're no, you're, not, you're not sharing a row with anybody. There's no middle seat per se. There is, but there isn't, right? Those that fly Southwest know what I mean. There's one that's just two seat. And so I always like love to be able to snag those because it's comfortable. Nobody's sitting near us. You know, Southwest flights are a little squashed. <laughs> but sometimes you don't get them. And it's just like, oh, it's a little irritating, but whatever. Life goes on. My reframe of this scenario. Uh, surrender your little corner to someone else for today and just take comfort in knowing that such a space exists at all and enjoy the opportunity for a new perspective. So I have this girl here in a new spot, chatting it up, having a conversation that she probably may not have had otherwise, right? So in advance of the holidays, I did this series, 25 Days of Reframe It, um, giving away also one year of Reframe It Story Meditation to anybody who chose to offer their own personal reframe of the given scenario for the whole week, so Monday through Friday. So in other words, if you comment on yesterday's video, today's video, and then the rest of the weeks, Wednesday, Thursday, and Fridays, you enter for a chance to win one year of Reframe It Story Meditation, which is just under a $200 value. Um, so, so, what is your personal reframe of that scenario? Tomorrow we'll be back with day 23 of 25 Days of Reframe It. Y'all have an amazing Tuesday and do not forget these challenges that you're facing, they can make you bitter or they can make you better. What will you choose? We'll see you guys tomorrow.